One of the main arguments of the Leave campaign is that the EU meddles too much in our lives. There are other signs that several EU initiatives have been put on ice or pushed off the agenda in an effort to avoid stirring up controversy until after the referendum. Critics have suggested that the budget and proposals paving the way for a so-called EU army are being kept secret. Others suggest some awkward legislation like the new eco-friendly regulations banning some kitchen appliances like toasters could be coming our way after June the 23rd. So we sent our Ellie to find out. So, do you think you know Brussels? The familiar sights, things people expect to see in this great European city, the administrative home of the EU. But underneath it all, there's something else. A place only a few people know about. How far down does it go? Le Musée des Aigus, the sewer museum. How many rats are there? Uh, about uh, two million rats in Brussels. Two million? Yeah, two million. Oh, do you get to see them on a daily basis? Yeah. And so, that's the river. The river. So there are still some surprises lurking here in Brussels, and the EU's critics say it's doing the same thing, that there's some nasty business still in the pipeline. They're keeping everything back until after the 24th, and then there's going to be a deluge, a tsunami. Uh, there's going to be um, all sorts of problems that are going to be visited on us. Regulations have held back, especially on things like uh, toasters and vacuum cleaners. So this is things like the Port Services Directive, which is ruinous for our commercial ports. Things like the uh, licensing for art imports, which is a disaster for the London art market. The banning of high power electrical appliances. And then a little bit further down the line, more bailouts, higher budget contributions, and ultimately, the harmonization of military capacity, what the European Commission describes as the strategic necessity of a European army. It's a long list, so I asked the EU Commission. Is the Commission holding back on certain legislation that would be unpopular with the British? The Commission is not saving up proposals. We are continuing to work on the basis of our political guidelines. Now, as to the question about the EU army, yes, I can also say very clearly that we have no plans to propose an EU army. But there are those in the European Parliament who think Britain's referendum is playing a role in delaying EU business. That's exactly what happened to the EU budget, according to the Vice Chair of the European Parliament's Budget Committee. We would normally have the budget by now. Has it been delayed? It has. It is being delayed, yes. Why? Well, I, I think everyone knows that, uh, that the Brexit uh, and the, the vote, the referendum, has uh, something to do with it. There is certainly the migration um, uh, reason for delaying it. Um, but, but then, on the other hand, in politics, you, you tend to say that this is the reason and then there are other things that are, that are you know, sort of playing into it. And what about the toasters? The Green MEP who worked on regulation to make kitchen appliances more eco-friendly says toasters were never on the EU's hit list. But is there a sense here that there is much business here in the EU being held up um, before the British referendum? Of course, the EU Commission is, is, is uh, very cautious. There is some legislative proposals or, or execution of, which is which is withhold. Uh, we do that because we do not want to create negative stories which often are uh, completely out of the blue and without any proof, but that's the reality of the uh, British media. The toasting unit is somewhere hidden in a oh, secret locked where. corridor. The toaster unit is what some journalists have called a special task force set up within the EU Commission to deal with issues relating to the UK. So called because of those stories in the British press that the EU had decided to shelve plans to change our toasters. It's led by a, uh, the father of um, British uh, Eurocrat, Jonathan Fall. He's been here since the 70s, plays cricket, drinks tea, kind of understands uh, some of what may uh, explode in the UK. But we do know there's a British task force. It's being dubbed the toaster unit. I mean, is that not evidence that you are prepared to at least hold back some unpopular stuff? 
I appreciate the, inf the effort to introduce into the Commission uh, press room uh, tabloid terminology. There are issues that to be addressed, parliamentary questions to be answered. There is a whole uh, internal work of uh, coordination between the services, uh, advice to the commissioners. So there is nothing uh, special, extraordinary, or a toaster-related aspect in the work of our colleagues. With less than two weeks to go until the referendum, it's maybe not surprising those in Brussels are keen the British public see the EU's best side. But for others, it belies a selfie interest. Exactly what those wanting to leave say is wrong with the EU.